Hi there! It's time to complete this bird. There is only this little leg left to stitch and this is what this video is going to be about. I know two ways how to stitch the bird leg, simple one and hard one. Of course I tried the hard one first. For this bird here I used thread painting technique to stitch the leg. I did some mistakes and then I fixed them, but I will tell you about it later in this video. First let's start from this simple way. As you know I have one more version of this bird, it has a different position from the front and all her fingers are visible here. So I decided to show you how to stitch it as well. Instead of complicated way you can use boolean stitch and it looks perfect for the case of bird position in the second design. This is just a piece of fabric where I I'm practicing on. I transfer the part of the pattern with a leg here to practice and make a video for you. Okay, let's stitch it. I started with a mix of two thread colors, blue and darker blue. I use one strand for each color together. And I use a millionaire needle. It has a long shaft and it's the same width from the eye to the tip. To make a boolean stitch, come up from the bottom, come back down on the top, don't pull the thread away through the fabric yet, leave a loop. Come up on the bottom of the stitch right where your thread is coming out, but don't pull the needle all the way through the fabric yet. Hold on the needle using one hand and wrap the thread around the needle 10 or 12 times using another hand. Don't pull too tight, because you may have troubles with going through all those wraps. The more wraps you do, the harder it is to pull through. Then gently hold those wraps by your other hand. Now pull the needle through all those wraps, keep pulling, tight it up, and then go back down right in the end of the stitch to anchor it. Usually I determine by eye the correct number of wraps. If I need a straight line, I lay down the needle and see if I need to do one more or I can stop. And if I want a curved boolean stitch, I do exactly the same thing, but I just add more wraps to make the stitch longer, which will cause that curve. Then I lay it down to the side the way I want them to display the bird fingers and make a few small stitches to attach it to the fabric so it will not move. This boolean stitch can be tricky, but once you learn it and practice a few times, you can start making it so quickly and confidently. After I did the fingers, I stitched the rest of the leg using the satin stitch with the same threads. And that's it, the leg look realistic despite the fact that this is a simple method. Truth be told, I didn't come up with such result from the first time. It's my second try and this is how my first try turned out. As you can see in the picture, my first try wasn't as good as the second one. Here is what mistakes I had. First mistake, too many strands. I used three strands of loss for boolean stitch, in this case, and the fingers came out too big. Here is what I learned. I need to use fewer strands. I used boolean stitch and two strands of loss and it turned out right just what I needed.
The second mistake, wrong needle. I used a regular embroidery needle and it was hard to go through all those wraps because it has a big eye. Once I switched to the right needle, it became easier to make bullion stitches. I switched to millennial needle, it has a long shaft and it's the same width from the eye to the tip. In other words, it doesn't have that bulge that another embroidery needle has. The third mistake is wrong method of the leg above the fingers. I decided to continue stitching using three strands of floss and fill the leg using long and short stitches. The leg turned out too big and looked not realistic. Now let's switch to our main project and I will talk you more about how I was stitching the leg in this case. So this is a complicated way I decided to go with first. So first what I did is I outlined the leg to get a sharp edges and some volume effect. I used one strand of floss, then I continued stitching using this thread and filled the leg using satin stitch. Then I changed the thread to darker shade and added some details to display shades and wrinkles on the fingers. Now I use even darker thread color to add a deeper shades and outline the leg a little bit. Here I'm using blend color. To finish the leg, I need to add a little bit of bird fluff. Then I stitch it the branch of the tree using two strands of brown color, lighter on the top and darker on the bottom. Now I noticed that the fingers were too thick relative to the body of the bird. It can be caused because of outlining. When you outline the object, keep in mind that it can make this object a bit larger, especially if the object is so small as this one. So I decided to fix it by adding brown to the inside of the finger, thus it had become thinner and doesn't look so massive. So that's how I stitch the bird leg and what I learned. I hope you liked my video tutorial and I hope you also learned something and practiced. If you want to try your hand in thread painting and learn how to stitch this bird, join my stitching club on Patreon, link in the video description below. All the pattern instructions and real-time video tutorials you can find on my Patreon page. I made a super detailed step-by-step -step progress shots and written explanations. You will see every single stitch I made. It's the most advanced and detailed video course you can ever find. Let's stitch this beautiful world with me and get your skills to the next level. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more embroidery tutorials from me. You may also like to watch some of those videos. I have more than 100 videos on my channel. So see you in the next one. Happy stitching!